what's going on everybody and this is gonna be the first video that i'm gonna upload to youtube and so i'm a little nervous but um let's see how it goes so oh yeah first of all i'd like to wish everyone a happy christmas even though it's late it's a bit late but yeah it's holiday nonetheless so let's start with creating a new file. It's gonna be called index.html. There you go. So if you want to go go by the hassles of you know writing the body, the HTML tags, you can just type the explanation mark and then press enter so everything you see here is already generated right so let's start by creating a div sorry div and I'm gonna name it, give it a class so class will be um let's see now so there you go. I'm going to close the bracket and then put three links here or four. So first of all, anchor tag, a href. What can I do with it? Yeah. All right. So brackets are closed and. I'll just say home then home there we go and now all I have to do is to copy and then paste it paste it paste it there we go so here I'm gonna put more and then here about pass and then here let's see all order so i'm just randomly putting these words up it's not how you do it it depends upon your website but this is just some words that i put it here home order about us and more there we go and now it just look at our wait where is the live server here yeah so in the live server as you can see i'm just using this as a server i mean this code editor visual studio code that i'm using and you can see our results so far home order about us and more right and now let's create a css file so stl style.css so we have created a css and let's start by styling our div so that's the class so now and there it goes and I would like to position somewhere in the center so what I'm going to do is display flex and if you don't know about it don't worry um, you can just reference it and I will explain what I'm gonna do now so it's gonna be justify content Center and then align item center. There we go. Now I have to put a height here, or else it won't be centering vertical. So height is gonna be a hundred with h. There we go. No, ah, oh, didn't. Semicolon. 
So it's going to be 100 pH and let's see what happens here. have a problem here. Um, so guys, this is the type of idiot I am. So I haven't specified the external link to the index.html. So I have to do that link. Let's see. Well, relation is going to be text often CSS and link is href to while style dot CSS so there you go so that's it now it should be working. Just a second, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, type where it's gonna be relation is gonna be style sheet. I'm an idiot. Don't remind me of that. And relation. No, what? Type. Do I type is going to be text. I from CSS. There we go. It should be up and running. <coughs> yeah, there we go. It's working here. So next. And next thing is we have to style our links here. So let's do that. Dope now. And inside that I have to, I'm going to select the anchor tab, the A tab. So what I have to do here is padding, sorry, marking. left so it's going to be 18 pixels mm. let's try with 10 pixels and then uh, link sorry link My style type is gonna be us. Damn it! It should be text decoration. No, there we go. So and yeah, font size. Font size is gonna be. Let's see. 80 pixels so it should be working now yeah it's working now phone style i would like to, to be phone style should be san Never mind, I will just roll with this. So I would like the font size to be 20 pixels and the margin left to be 18. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. Now, all I have to do is to add a color that's going to be white and a background color. That I would be using this color because to choose is gonna be red Christmas theme. <laughs> there we go. It should be working. Yeah. 
except the problem was I had to put it in now. Pardon me. Wait. Sorry, I mean control V. I haven't said. There we go. Except this cake in the whole way. Hmm. What happens if I put it in a damn book? Yeah, I guess it works. Don't worry about the center, alright? It's alright. Ah, damn it. Wrong one. I didn't ask you to be here. Oh crap. Yeah, this is a bad software. At least I haven't updated it so yeah. For this time being, it's crap for me. Takes some time to close because of my PC. So yeah. Beware doing this thing. Mm-hmm. I would like it to be 28 because why not? A little more space in between. Uh, what about 32? Okay, that's good. Now, now a power behind the whole effect. So I'm going to use the zero class power. What I want when I hover it is to um, change the background to white. So, background color white. And then font color, if I'm by just color, is gonna be this same color. So, copy it and paste it. Well, by the way, pseudo class, pseudo selectors are like, you know, a condition. So here I am selecting the nav, nav link, but I have a condition that only when I hover, this thing should be happen, happening. So that's basically it. I hope it works. Yeah, it works. So next, I would like to do some padding. Ten pixel. Yeah, it's working now. So I need some effects here, like you know, transition, transition. Mm-hmm. Let's see zero point five seconds. Yeah, it's working now. It's looking great. So but I have to do something else. This is something I have recently learned. I'll just show you. So I'm just gonna put it box shadow which is going to be zero 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 and then white and set so when I hover just copy it and paste it. I mean, the 
horizontal plane to be 100 pf or i guess i will start with 50 pf so let's see if this works yeah it works let's go boys uh-huh so there you go you have a nice what i mean didn't 90 pp so there you go you have a nice now with a sliding effect i guess you can increase this one so it's going to be eight seven point seven yeah so this is pretty cool looking and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new from it and until the next video happy holidays